Good evening, viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kem Easy and I'm Michael Jeremiah. Um, this sample took question for the quantitative analysis of tetrazo sulfate 6 acid and sodium trazo carbonate 4. All right, so um, if you've not seen the first video on the first question, you can click on the link in the description below. It will lead you directly to the first um, question, so you can go through it. All right, and um, let's just quickly go over to the question. It says AN is a solution of 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube of tetrazo sulfate acid. So this is the concentration of the acid. Take note when you see mole per dm cube, it tells you it is what concentration because that's this is the unit of uh, concentration. And um, B is a solution containing y gram per dm cube of an hydrous sodium trazo carbonate for take note the um, mass for the gram is not given to us here. So we'll be asked to look for it. Um, put A into the bullet. Prepare 20 cm cube or 25 cm cube of B into the conical flax using the thalo range as the indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant titration values. Tabulate the readings and calculate the average volume of acid use. All right. From the previous titration we did, the average volume of acid use VA, that means the average volume of sulfuric acid use is 20.25 cm cube. So take note of this. And the average volume of the the size of the pipette, which is the volume of the base, the volume of sodium tri carbonate for a basic sort, the volume we use, which is the size of the pipette, is 25 cm cube. All right, so we already have these two values. And uh, from your result and the data provided, calculate the amount of AN which is the acid in the average volume of acid used, all right? And take note, the first question, we are calculating amount of AN in the average volume of acid used, all right? So now, um, to do that, we use concentration is equal to amount in mole over volume of the solution in dm cube all right so from the question given to us here the concentration of the acid is given to us at 0 0.066 mole per dm cube all right so concentration of the acid is 0 0.066 mole um sorry excuse me is 0 0.699 mole per dm cube and uh, the volume the volume which is the volume the average volume of acid use is 20.25 cm cube but mind you our volume here is in dm cube so we'll convert if you convert this to dm cube by dividing with 1000 you have 0. um 0 to zero to five dm cube all right so when you substitute this into the equation we have zero zero point point zero six nine nine mole per dm cube is equal to amount over zero point zero two zero two five dm cube all right, so when you cross multiply, the amount gotten is um, 0 0.001415 mole. So that's the answer. We'll go back to the next question, which is calculate the concentration of BN in mole per dm cube. All right, so so long as we have the concentration of the AN, we we'll have the average volume of acid used and the volume of the base. We can definitely look for the concentration of the BN, which is your basic salt. Now, from the equation uh, for the reaction, we have tetrazo sulfate 6 acid reacting with sodium trazo carbonate 4. All right, when an acid reacts with the carbonate, it gives you the salt of the acid, sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide gas all right this gas is given enough okay 
So to calculate the concentration of this, we already have the concentration of the acid. We use this formula CAVA equal to CBVB equal to NA over NB. All right, where C is the concentration of the acid given at 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube. And uh, CB is the concentration of the base, which is the basic salt we are looking for. And uh, VA is the volume of the acid, which is 20.25 cm cube. And uh, VB is the volume of the basic salt, which is 25 cm cube. NA and NB refers to the number of moles of acid. This is the acid. All right, we have just one mole of the acid, so N is one. Likewise, NB is one. So we just have to substitute this into the equation by having CA 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube times 20.25 cm cube um, over CB times 25 cm cube equal to 1 over 1 all right so making c be the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by the coefficient of c b we have 0 0.0699 mole per dm cube times 20.25 all over 25 dividing this gives um 0 0.0 5 cc small per dm cube. Please ensure you always state your unit when doing your calculation. It's very, very important. So this is the concentration of the basic sort. So we go over to the next um, question that asks us to calculate the value of y. All right? To look for the value of y, this is how you calculate it okay the value of y gram per dm cube of the sodium trihydrocarbonate for the grams is not given to us but take note so long as we have the concentration of it from the concentration which is 0 0.05 cc small per dm cube we can deduce the mass this is how you do it first start with this formula concentration is equal to amount amount is in mole over volume in dm cube okay so we've gotten our concentration to be what 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube we want to look for the amount Take note, we want to look for the grams per dm cube, means in one dm cube. Our formula here is in volume is in dm cube. So one dm cube is just one year, one dm cube. Okay. So when you cross multiply, you have amount is equal to 0 0.05 cc mole. All right. So this is the mole. But we are asked to look for the mass so from the mole now we can calculate the mass okay and amount which uh, we can say the mole is equal to mass over molar mass all right so what's our amount here we have it as 0 0.05 cc mole equal to mass What's the molar mass for sodium carbonate? It is 105.99. You can use 106 approximately um, grams per mole. All right. So cross multiplying, we have mass is equal to 0 0.05 cc mole times 105.99 grams per mole. Okay. So multiply this, you have 5. 0.9 grams which is approximately 6 grams so this is the mass so we have 6 grams of sodium carbonate per dm cube 
okay so take note of that we'll go over to the next question it says calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced from 25 cm cube of bn at stp so from this reaction we we'll want to calculate the volume of um, carbon dioxide produced from 25 cm cube of the bn all right this is how you do it um, from the balanced equation we have sodium tetrahydrate sulfate cis uh, sorry hydrogen um tetrahydrate sulfate cis acid reacting with sodium carbonate to give us the sort of the acid sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide all right so when an acid reacts with the base it gives off carbon dioxide gas now this reaction we use 25 cm cube of sodium carbonate to react with 20.25 cm cube of sulfuric acid and their concentration are zero the concentration of the acid is 0 0.0699 and this one is 0 0.056 cc so now if this titration is carried out what volume of carbon dioxide is given off that's what you're asked to do now before you can answer that first you get this documentary of this reaction from this reaction one mole of sodium carbonate gives one mole of carbon dioxide gas all right one mole one mole all right but take note the uh what we're asked to look for we say they, they were asked to look for the volume of carbon dioxide given off okay and you know that one mole of a gas contains 22 occupies a space of 22.4 dm cube at stp so we can also say one mole of a gas produces 22.4 dm cube of carbon dioxide because one mole of carbon dioxide is also equivalent to 22.4 dm cube since we have to look for the volume of co2 given up we are just converting using um volume we have got dm cube is a unit for volume okay so now um, from the reaction the concentration of this is um 0.05 cc mole per dm cube and the volume we use 25 cm cube all right with this information now we can convert it to mole so that we can get the amount of co2 produced when we use this to titrate the base all right so if you do that by using the same formula converting this to mole concentration is equal to amount in mole over volume okay uh, we have its concentration here is a 0 0.05 cc mole per dm cube equal to amount we're looking for the amount which is in mole over the volume is in dm cube so we convert 25 to dm cube we have 0 0.025 so when you cross multiply the amount you have which is the mole is um 0.001415 all right so if one mole produces 22.4 dm cube of co2 0.001415 mole we produce how many volume of gas s you cross multiply s times one give you s then this times this will give you um 0 0.0317 dm cube all right so this is the volume of carbon dioxide produced from this reaction i will right, we'll go back to the last question here that says calculate the mass of salt formed when 25 cm cube of bn completely react with the an all right calculate the mass of salt formed okay so we can also do this um, um, from the equation also you have sulfuric acid 
reacting with sodium carbonate to give us sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. All right. When an acid reacts with a base, this is a basic salt. It gives us salt. This is salt of the acid. This is water. Okay. The acid reacts with the carbonate and it will always give you carbon dioxide gas. Now the question says, we should calculate the mass of the salt formed. All right. From this reaction. It's a very simple thing. Now let's go now. From the stoichiometry of this reaction, one mole of sodium carbonate, all right, gives you one mole of sodium sulfate. One mole of sodium sulfate. All right, then from the reaction, how many moles now? We give us how many moles of this before we go over to using getting the mass because we have to look for the mass but we're starting with mole mole first then later we can convert convert to mass all right from this reaction we use 0 0.05 cc mole of the base basic search and then we use 25 cm cube as a volume from the previous calculation we did if you convert this to mole using concentration is equal to amount um over volume you will arrive at 0 0.001415 all right so if one mole produces one mole of sodium sulfate from the balanced equation 0 0.001415 moles of sodium carbonate from this titration we produce how many moles of sodium sulfate you cross multiply you also have 0 0.001415 moles of sodium sulfate produced. All right, now, but the question we are asked to look for is the mass of it. So long as we have the mole, we can convert to mass. Using mole is equal to mass over molar mass. All right, so our mole is 0 0.001415 mole. Uh, is equal to we're looking for the mass and the molar mass for sodium sulfate is 142 grams per mole so mole go over to mole then we cross multiply we have mass is equal to 0 0.001415 times 142 grams we have 0 0.20 Zero nine three grams of sodium sulfate. Take note, this is the salt that is formed. All right, this is the end of the calculation. Please, you can click on the link in the description below to watch the first sample question and the third sample question as well. Thank you for watching.